Revelation 4328, from the 10th of June 1948. Community of Saints. Intercession Pointless. Your humans need considerable support from the spiritual world if you want to survive the last battle on earth, and this help is at your full disposal in every way by just asking for it. For this reason it should be explained to you what kind of help will be given to you and how you can request it. There exists, as you humans call it, the community of saints, which helps you, but it is necessary to explain the term saints to you if you are to be truthfully taught and free from wrong notions. The beings of light are people's most faithful guides and helpers who are always ready as soon as they are called. But their assignment to people is determined by God in his wisdom, just as he, corresponding to their degree of perfection, also permeates the spiritual beings with light and strength. People, however, are unable to assess another person's degree of maturity and therefore have neither the right nor the ability to elevate him to sainthood, because only God knows the quality of his soul when he, having been liberated by physical death, enters the spiritual kingdom. Only God knows the relationship the person has had with him on earth and to what extent he acted with love. Loving activity is the decisive factor and could have given him light and strength in abundance while still on earth, enabling him to do extraordinary things on earth if he wanted to. But in the beyond God reserves the right to guide mature souls to the sphere of activity which corresponds to their degree of maturity. He allocates to them the activity in the spiritual kingdom, just as he determines what kind of help should be given to people on earth. The beings of light have abundant strength, they can achieve anything because they work with God and in accordance with his will since they are constantly permeated by his strength. But the being of light moves entirely within God's will too, that is it cannot want anything but God's will since it has already established the union with God and is therefore totally absorbed in his will. However, since it possesses great wisdom it also recognizes the inexpediency of many people's petitions and therefore also has to refuse when a fulfillment would be detrimental for the soul. Helping people is a state of happiness for the beings of light, for this reason God allows people to request help from them. But it is not right to call upon specific saints, because their activity and task could be entirely different and people, in their ignorance, might appeal to a being which is still far from perfect and then, due to their petition, become subject to and get unfavorably influenced by it. Because those who are called will appear, they immediately seek to get close to the caller and try to impose their thoughts on him, which might not correspond to the truth. Besides, the canonization by people is mainly dependent on a way of life conforming to a church community, that is where piety is a prerequisite. Although never demanded by God it is insisted upon by the church, and in accordance with the latter the canonization takes place, which can never be the will of God. Consequently, not everyone canonized may be a being of light, whereas there are many beings of light in the spiritual kingdom whose way of life in fact corresponded to God's will but did not conform to the rules of an ecclesiastical community. All beings of light possess God's strength which they want to use, thus people were entrusted into their care whom they should and can help to reach perfection, providing human will is not opposed to it. Appealing to the beings of light will never be in vain, whereas calling upon specific beings may be good but could also be harmful even though help is expected from them. However, the idea to gain intercession by the beings of light is misguided. Prayer is an appeal to God. It establishes the relationship between the human being and God, which is requested by God himself because the appeal demonstrates that the person's will is directed towards him. Thus in people's opinion, the beings of light, which are already in closest union with him, are supposed to establish this relationship with God. This would relieve the person from establishing the relationship himself which, however, is purpose and goal of his earthly life because only the contact with God provides the influx of strength without which the soul is unable to mature fully. But the being of light cannot convey strength to the person, because even in the spiritual kingdom are laws which have to be observed by its inhabitants in the knowledge that they were given by God's love and wisdom.
the beings are willing to help in every instance and in accordance with God's will, consequently the human being has to please God's will first in order to be considered by him directly or through the beings of light, which truly will never leave anyone without help if God's will approves. Hence the appeal for help to the beings of light will never be in vain, but an appeal for intercession is futile. Because the child itself should trustingly approach the father so that the father's love can give itself to the child, and because this intimate relationship will never be established if the human being believes that he can also reach the goal through intercession. God is a God of love. He does not want people frightened to come to him, he wants to be the father of his children and not a strict judge and ruler. People try to please the latter through intercession but approach the former trustingly, and God asks for this trust from his living creations, because his infinite love belongs to them and he will also fulfill their every prayer. Amen.